Me too. Oh yeah, I got a nice one. Oh, whoa, that was 13 inches easily. I think mine is too though, Wilma, look at this. It's really big, whatever this is. Look at this. Is this a bass? Yes, it is, it's a big one. Four pound line, guys. I got a big old largemouth on here. This is one of the biggest bass I've seen out of this lake. Look at this. Oh my gosh, guys, they are on fire then. If we just got them two nice fish. Look at that. Not bad for a Bobby Garland. Guys, what I'm using, it's gold chips with white. I forgot the color. But it's a longer Bobby Garland. It's two and a half inches, I believe. Um, I almost need you to here. Yes, it was. He was 13 inches easily. Not a bad largemouth, guys. One of the biggest ones I've seen out of here. Oh my God. It's, that was a big one. Yeah, it was. They're pretty shallow, too. My gosh. That quick. See, we just needed to go the whole day today. I'm telling you, the whole day would have been good. Somewhere, if you was at the coal mines or somewhere today, I'm telling you. We got on a nice large mouth this time. Me and her got those fish instantly after getting in here. And then we didn't get nothing for 20 minutes now. We really thought we was going to be on them. And just nothing's been happening. I don't know what happened, guys. Yep, not a bad one. A pound, anyway. It's weird how they just quit. Now they're biting again. Maybe they'll pick back up. That's definitely not this year's. We can rule that out, can't we? It's gotta be last year's, but hey, I'm happy it's eight inches anyway. All right, guys, first crappie of the day for either of us. Right at eight inches, black. That's all there is in here, blacks. There is some big crappie in here, but you seldom catch them over here. They're usually loners and kind of by themselves. And isolated, I mean. There we go. Oh, this is a big one. I think it's a bass. It's got to be. A, if this is a crappie, it's a giant. It's a large mouth. It's got to be. Yeah bass. I could tell by the way he's swimming completely sideways. All right guys, two fish, two casts. About 11 or 12 inches. Boy, look at that. He is barely hooked. It's barely in a little piece of skin. Can you move your uncle a little bit? Not really. Cast that That's way. number three. I'm the only person that caught a crappie, I think. Yeah. And that was the only crappie we ever caught. She missed a really nice one. Other than that, I got the one eight inch crappie and three or four bass and that was it. And she got a really nice bass too. About a pound and a half. This one's about 11. We just could not figure the crappie out today. Of course, we didn't have much time either. The bass are real shallow compared to the crappie here. And we just never figured out a pattern. Guys, welcome to another episode. Today is April the 2nd, Sunday. Yesterday was 40 mile an hour winds. Today it's 10. We did, we're doing about a six or seven acre lake very very dingy but what's special about this lake is you had to hike the canoe about 500 yards to get to this 
you cannot drive to it. Me and her just kept pulling and pulling. We tied the rope around our waist. And we'd go about 20 foot at a time, take a break, and just kept working at it. And we made it. I'm already wore out. It's gonna be even worse going back because it's uphill in. Right here, it's three foot. I'm testing the depth to see when it finally drops down. Okay, I already can't touch bottom right there. So it's over four foot deep now. Just kind of have to guess and gamble with it, I guess. Unless someone dumped it in. Because there ain't no way a tree could have fell this far. Conservation. Oh, I just had one. There he is. Yes. That ain't bad. Middle of the lake, right behind me, right about 10 feet from the canoe. All right, guys, first fish of the day. About an eight inch white crappie. He's not horrible. Actually, it's a pretty fat female. You can tell she's got eggs. So I'm gonna let her go. Not a bad start anyway. At least we know there's crappie in here. They ain't too pale. It's colorful. Look what it's got all over it though. Snail larva. See the black dots in its fins? Them are snail, baby snails. All right, guys, white crappie, fish number one. Orange dream sickle Bobby Garland with a one-eighth black and white jig head. About five foot down in eight foot of water. This ain't small either, Wilma. This is big. There's a whole school of fish right there. I told you, I could see them. I could see them. This is big. Oh yeah, bigger than the first one I caught. Okay, now this will make me stay. This will make me stay. All right, I'm gonna give you one of these. You need one of these orange quarter ounce jig heads. You control it better and you in this. All right, guys, not a bad crappie at all. He's 10, 10 inch white. There's a whole school of them over there, guys. I just see, I could tell by the way the water was acting on top there. Are, I caught him two foot from the top. They're all swimming real close to the top. Not bad. It's doable. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna get you one on there. Not bad at all. Heck yeah. Now that I'll stay here for. Now you have to reel it in faster. I don't know why you, that's why I said Real shallow too. I caught him two foot down. As soon as I started reeling it in, he was already on it. There he is. Oh yeah. We found, we figured them out guys. They're all in one little spot. At least for now, they may be moving later when we'll have to find them again. These are not bad crappie. Oh, that's a bass. Hey, that's weird. Look, we finally got a largemouth. Wrong kind, but hey, oh well. You know what it could be too? The fish, have, the water's had to warm up a little bit from the sun. It is only new. Right, guys, this is a female largemouth. About 10 inches. About 11 inches. Definitely a female. Big old pot of them right there. I think I know what's going on. Is that log. That log is blocking the wind. Now see, I don't see them now. Alright guys, my on. it's been so windy I didn't hear my camera shut off. I just caught my finally my third crappie, he's just about seven inches. I found out I've been fishing way too shallow. This guy was seven foot down in nine foot of water, so they're really kind of hugging the bottom. Um, but that means we're gonna get hung a lot more of the problem. But anyway, 
Got him seven foot down and nine foot of water and his first fish I've caught in a whole hour. So that explains a lot why I've been not getting them. Let's see if this can get me some more now. So you're almost better off letting it fall all the way to the bottom and then just pick it up about a foot or two and then reeling it in. Then you're right, gonna get hung I was sliding down this hill to fish for white bass and I was halfway down and a giant morel just about bit me in the face there. Look at that. April 2nd and it's a big one. Go ahead and carry, that's a yellow. I think. Yellow. It's either that or a really big black. Here, I want you to show me holding it. Here. keeping but well guys once again my camera keeps shutting off without me hearing it I just caught a nice male white bass about 12 inches that's twice today my camera shut off and it's so windy I can't hear it it's getting frustrating but I like to have the fight on videos guys it's really frustrating not a bad white bass I don't know, they probably can't get through that. Though. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah, oh my God, what do I got? This ain't a white bass, no way. The drum, big drum. Hey, it's recording, it's a miracle. Big old drum though. Dang, same color too, it looked just like a white bass. Yeah. Oh, he's a fighter. Yeah, if this was a white bass, it would be a trophy. About four pounds, three, three. It had me fooled though for a second. I thought it was a giant white bass. Williams caught sauger here. Sauger, buffalo. There's everything in here if you hit it on the right time. But it's never, it's hardly ever at the right level is the problem. God. You gotta learn how to do that. You know I haven't got hung yet. Because I know how to do it. You gotta learn how to do it. You're letting your lure fall too long. Get me with the scenery in the background. This rapid. You know what I mean? Like this. Where it shows me in the rapid. It'll look kind of cool if you can get both of them. Is it yeah. showing both? You got a line of the sun. Oh, okay. that's right. Yeah. Alright guys, morel number two, it's a little black, just sitting there, they're very small, I was about to move on from this area because it's not well drained, it's flat and kind of holds water, but you know what, that don't mean there ain't some in that area, here bring the bag.
He's a little guy. Little morsel of a bite though, I guess. Got two of them. 